This is just a general structure. There are others out there, I'm sure, uh, but this one has the most versatility. Um, the first thing that you need to think about when structuring your introduction is, what is the purpose of an introduction? Why would you even write or speak one? Um, and I think really the purpose is threefold. Number one, you need to engage your audience, make it interesting to them. Number two, you need to inform them about the subject or the text you're going to discuss. And number three, you need to state an argument. So let's take a look at those different stages. That first stage of engaging your audience um, is really what you may know as the hook. Um, you have to write or say something that is going to make people interested in continuing to uh, read or listen to you. And generally, that's by making the topic relevant to their life. Uh, if you want to learn about other strategies for writing or speaking hooks, you can see some of my other videos. Uh, next, even before you actually inform them, you need to make a connection. So from your real life relevant example to whatever the topic is that you're going to argue or analyze. Um, once you've made that connection, you then need to inform, which in this case would be summarizing the, the plot of a text or summarizing uh, a certain issue such as wearing uniforms in school. Finally comes the most important part of your introduction, and that's your argument. In this case, it's the thesis. That's a single sentence that clearly states what the entire purpose of your per presentation or your essay is. One key thing to keep in mind with all these different stages is that they need to link together seamlessly. They can't seem disjointed. I like to think of it like a funnel. In this case, uh, you take the wider general information and as it moves down closer to your argument, it becomes narrower and narrower and more focused. That way, you have the uh, best chance to get the greatest number of people interested in your topic before providing your precise argument. Leave comments or questions below.